And you know what? What am I playing? What am I playing? This guitar was hanging up there for months, and people were like, play that Mustang. But it ain't a Mustang, man! It's a Duo Sonic. It's a 1966 Fender Duo Sonic 2. Dakota Red. You know what 1966 is, man? That's my birth month. So, uh, my birth month. That is so inaccurate. It's my birth year. Yes. Okay. Yeah, I've been doing this all day, so I'm already losing my mind. Um, so, here, and here's the thing. This is a really cool thing. Um, a guy in Japan, Tomo, bought this guitar, and he said, hey, before you ship it to me, why don't you do a video of it since it got so many requests? So, everybody that's leaving a comment that used to say, do that red guitar, you don't have to say it anymore. You can say, thanks, Tomo, for being such a cool guy in Japan. All right. Um, I want to say that uh, this was actually John English's, uh, the Luthier from the Fender Custom Shop. This was his personal guitar. He didn't build it. It was his guitar. I don't, it looks like he didn't do anything to it. It looks all mint and, well, not mint. It's got a couple of dings here and there, but adds character to the guitar, right? I really like the neck pickup in this guitar. Um, the treble pickup sounds a little honky. Honky! That's way too honky. But maybe one of these switches changes it. Or... I don't know what the hell that switch is doing. It's doing something. Because this is a pickup selector. This is the treble pickup. Middle, middle, which is both. And this is neck. Well, I'm lost. I have no idea what's going on. <laughs> but we get a lot of requests for some chili peppers. So, uh, uh, I don't know this song. I just listened to it five minutes ago. Yeah, it tells time. It's insane. Only I can see it. Um, so, something like... Uh, Chili pep, chili peppers, huh? play some chili peppers, play some chili peppers, play some chili peppers. I didn't nail it, but uh, that's kind of the vibe, right? This guitar, neck pickup. Yeah, let's move on. Uh, today I'm in the evil robot head and cabinet for the clean tone. Sounds cool, right? Yes, it does. Now let's go to that honky treble pickup, see what happens. All right, it's gone. Next part, which I would switch to the evil robot, the bad monkey, and the neck position. Still, wait, let's roll off the tone. That's not it either, not even close. But it does have a nice quality to it, right? I personally like the treble pickup. This, I would take this guitar into the studio just to do anytime the, the artist says, I want chugging in the verse. This is the perfect size. It's not too boxy, it's not too beefy, it's not it's just. It's like perfect chug. <laughs> I don't mind you hanging around and talking in your sleep. I don't let a man hurt. Deep on your deep, yeah. I don't like you what you care. Yeah. 
long as I can stop before I don't know what to do anymore. <laughs> Wait, that's a great solo. Something like that, but not as honky. <laughs> All right. Um, okay, what else did I want to say? What? 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 Full scale. Oh, yes. Okay, check it out. This is not, most Duosonic Juniors come with a short scale neck. This is not only a long scale, but it has 22 frets. Crazy, right? Like, that's a high D, man. And what do you get when you got... That's my new age, my new new age tune I'm working on. <laughs> All right, anyways, um, thanks for checking out this guitar. Tomo, thanks for leaving it here. We're gonna ship it to you next week. I don't know, what I'm, I, I don't know, maybe not, but I think so. Um, and everybody shut up about the guitar. It's done, thank you, kick ass!